Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. Richard Feynman said, For a successful technology, reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled. In this short video, I'm going to explain the simple mathematics behind the high cost of net zero. We see a lot of headlines like this. For half an hour on November 19th last year, wind power produced 69% of UK electricity. And on January 22nd of this year, winds accounted for a record 70% of Britain's generation mix over the weekend. So if wind is producing 70% of UK electricity, all you need to do is build a few more wind turbines and then you can get rid of everything else. That's the way the Labour government is looking at it. They say they're going to decarbonize the UK by the year 2030. But the problem is, they are looking at the wrong metric. Let's take a look at what the correct metric is for planning a grid. This month in the UK, wind power has been producing an average of 14% of UK electricity. But average isn't the correct metric either. The key metric is minimum percent, which has been close to zero on several occasions this month. Now I will explain why minimum is the correct metric. If you could guarantee 100% wind power all of the time, then you could get rid of all your other electricity generation sources. If you could guarantee 60% wind power all of the time, then you could get rid of 60% of your other electricity generation sources. If you could guarantee 14% wind power all of the time, then you could get rid of 14% of your other sources. But the reality is you can't guarantee any wind power because a lot of the time the wind doesn't blow at all. That means if you want to keep your country running all the time, you cannot afford to shut down any other electricity generation sources. And those other sources have to be online, staffed, and available anytime the wind fails. So even if the wind is blowing, you're still paying for all of your natural gas and nuclear power plants, even if they're not being used. If you build more wind turbines, all you're doing is increasing the total cost of the grid, and you're not reducing costs at any place or any time. So each new wind turbine is guaranteed to make electricity even more expensive. All the propaganda that's being generated about climate and energy is about to put these two young terrorists in jail. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate and energy scams for the past 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.